This capping strategy is very unique. Being simple and profitable, it combines the elements of price action and multiple time frame analysis. In this video, I will teach you the rules of that trading strategy. We will go through the important theory, I will show you the real market examples, and I will teach you the trade management rules. To do this, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and let's start. Start your analysis with a 4 hour time frame. On a 4 hour time frame, analyze the price action and look for a consolidation. After a strong bullish or bearish impulse, the price should start coiling. And what you should look for, you should look for a horizontal range. Within the range, the price should strictly set equal highs and equal lows. Equal lows should compose a strong support, while the equal highs should compose a strong resistance. Take a look at the price action on a euro yen pair. You can see that after a strong bearish impulse, the market started to coil. You can see that the price started to set equal highs and respect that horizontal resistance. And at the same time, the price started to set equal lows. So that here we have a perfect example of a horizontal range. Traders, don't miss my free signals and forecasts. Subscribe to my free Telegram channel now. The link in the description below. Pay close attention to drawing the support and resistance of the range. These elements are very important when you draw the resistance of the range, make sure that you take into consideration the highest work and also make sure that you consider the candle closes. When you draw the support of the range, remember that again, the support of the range should be the area. It shouldn't be just one single level. And when you draw that, make sure that you take into consideration the lowest work and the lowest candle close. After you spotted the test of the support of the range, start analyzing 15 minutes and 5 minutes time frames. On one of these time frames, you should look for a falling wedge pattern or a falling channel. You can see that here, for example, we have a falling parallel channel. A very important rule here is that a falling wedge and a falling channel should strictly have a trend line, a falling resistance that is respected by the market at least three times. And you should see three consequent bearish reactions from that. If you spotted a test of the resistance of the range in the four hour, again, check 15 minutes and five minutes time frames. There you should look for a rising wedge pattern or a rising channel. And here, for example, we have a very cute rising wedge pattern. A very important rule is, though, that the support of the wedge or a channel should be respected by the market at least three times. And you should see three consequent bullish movements from that. When you spotted the test of the support or the resistance of the range, start analyzing 15 minutes and 5 minutes time frames. Remember that first you should start with the 15 minutes time frame. And you check 5 minutes time frame if only you don't spot the pattern on the 15 minutes time frame. Analyzing the price action on the euro yen pair, we can spot that the price was steadily falling within a falling parallel channel. You can see that here we have a perfect pattern and you can see that the resistance of the channel is respected by the market three times and we saw three consequent bearish reactions from the upper boundary of the channel. Your very strong bullish signal will be a bullish breakout of the resistance of the wedge or the channel. Once the price closes above that, it will be the important sign of strength of the buyers. And that will indicate a highly probable bullish continuation. Your signal to sell the market will be a bearish breakout of the support of the wedge or of the channel. Once the candle closes below the support of the wedge or the channel, be prepared for a further bearish continuation and a strong bearish movement. After the test of the support of the range, Euro Yen bounced and violated the resistance of the channel. That is a very important bullish confirmation and that is the important sign of strength of the buyers. After a bullish breakout of the resistance of the channel or of the watch, set your buy limit order on the retest of a broken trend line. That will be your perfect place to buy the market. And your perfect place to sell the market will be the retest of a broken support of the watch or of the channel. 
that will be your safest point to sell from. Placing your buy limit order, remember that your safe stop loss should strictly lie below the lows of the range, below the support of the range. That will be a very important condition. And your take profit will be the upper boundary of the range. It will be the resistance of the range. Placing your short trade, set your stop loss strictly above the highs of the range, above the upper boundary of the range. That will be your safe stop loss and your target for the trade will be the support of the range. And also cheaters, always check reward to risk ratio. Make sure that you have a positive reward to risk ratio. Once you spotted a confirmed violation of the resistance of the channel or of the watch, set your buy limit order on a retest. Stop loss is lying strictly below the lows of the range. That is why it's so important for us to correctly underline the boundaries of the support and resistance of the range. It helps to correctly set stop loss and choose the target. So stop loss is strictly lying below the support and the target is the upper boundary of the range. So that is your perfect scalping treat. And take a look how nicely the pier started to grow after the breakout of the resistance of the channel. Indeed, it was a very strong bullish signal and you can see how easily the price reached the target then. Take a look at your Aussie pier. Here we have a horizontal range and here the price is testing the resistance of the range. Analyzing the reaction of the price to the resistance of the range on 15 minutes time frame, we don't see any pattern right here. That is the signal for us to check lower time frame. We open 5 minutes time frame and here we look for the pattern again. And if we pay close attention to a price action, we can spot right here a very nice example of a rising watch pattern. You can see that after the price tested the resistance of the range, we saw a strong bearish reaction and the price violated the support of the watch. That would be the signal for you to sell the market. After you spotted the breakout of the support of the watch, your perfect entry would have been the retest of a broken support of the watch. Stop loss should lie strictly above the resistance of the range and the take profit will be based on the support of the range. So here is your trade. And take a look how nicely the price drop then all the way down to the support of the range. And here's how you apply that strategy on practice. You open one instrument after another and you simply look for the peers where you see the range. For example, here on Euro dollar, you have a very nice horizontal range. You underline its boundaries and then you simply pay close attention to your dollar and you wait for the test of the boundaries of the range. Same thing with US 30 index. Again, there's a very perfect range here. You underline its boundaries and you're patiently waiting for the test of one of the boundaries. If there's no range on the four hour time frame, like for example, on the dollar Swiss pier, you just check other peers. What I like about that scalping strategy is that it works on any forex peer. It works on gold, oil, silver indexes. So pick the trading instrument that you prefer and learn to apply that trading strategy. Let me know traders in the comment section what do you want to learn in the next videos. Also traders do not forget to subscribe to my free telegram channel. The link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and do not forget to watch my other videos.